Today I'm going to show you how to install Tails on any OS X Mac. All you need is parallels and a storage device that's at least 2 gigabytes, such as a USB or an SD card. You also need an ISO image of the Tails you want to install. This can be downloaded off the Tails website. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is format your storage device, and I formatted mine with OS X Journal and uh, GUID Partition Map. Now we need to set up the operating system in Parallels. So go to Parallels and hit New Operating System. Then hit Install Operating System from Image File and hit Continue. Locate your image file, although it should already be located, and then go on and name the operating system whatever you want and specify the location and then hit Continue again. This creates the virtual, virtual machine in Parallels and will then boot into Tails. While you're waiting for Tails to boot up, go ahead and eject the storage device that you just formatted that you're going to put Tails on. Once Tails is running, go to Applications, Tails, Tails Installer, and this brings up the Installer menu. Choose Install by Cloning, and at this point, insert your storage device into your computer. This will make it appear in the Target Device drop-down menu. Once your device is detected, select it from the drop-down menu and hit Install Tails. Then hit Yes in the confirmation box. The installation will then start. You may encounter an error where it says the Tails installation failed. Don't worry if this happens. It happened to me several times and it is easily fixed. Just exit the installer, go back up to Applications and relaunch the installer. Hit Install by Cloning, select your device, and hit Install by Tails. Eventually, the installation should be successful and go to completion. Now that the installation is complete, you can take out your storage device and use it to boot into Tails. And now you're going to want to take your USB drive, plug it in, Turn on your MacBook and hold Alt while it boots. And that's going to give you this booting screen, at which point you can click on the EFI boot and go ahead and launch into that. And now you're booting into Tails. And it, it takes a few minutes. So we'll just go ahead. And on the first boot, you are not given the option to access a, pers a persistent volume um, as you'll see here in a moment you have to create the persistent volume once you're in the operating system and then uh, in future boot ups the option to launch into a persistent volume will be present so let's see we'll give it a couple minutes here All right, so we'll go ahead and log in. And another thing worth mentioning is that if you're going to upgrade, you pretty much have to repeat the entire process over uh, with the upgraded version. Uh, usually, you'll go into the Tails installer and upgrade uh, via that method, or upgrade from the pop-up that will appear when an upgrade is available. Um, but I have not had luck upgrading that uh, using that method. I have to just download the entire new version and repeat the process that was just described. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, Tails is now ready to use, and yeah. So please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. Um, I don't release in a set schedule or anything like that, but uh, thanks for watching.